Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with, with the last break of the night. 2020 Panini Donners Optic Football, six box, half case, pick your team, number four. We're over a little bit tonight, but hey, things were things were rolling. I don't I don't I don't mind going over time a little bit. For you. If you if you dig deep, fill up some breaks later at night, I'll dig deep and I'll I'll do my best to knock these out. Alright. EA needs some uh, Jalen Hurt Hurts is this. Did not see too much action in the first one. This is the second half, though. Remember, I marked all of these four, so we, they're all from the same case. We we're talking a little hoops, too. EA pointing out that Carmelo Anthony playing some good basketball. EA saying, think Jared Allen cards go up if he gets traded to my Lakers? Is that actually a conversation? Is that conversation actually happening? Because I'll be honest with you. I, I, I kind of like Jared Allen a lot. I, I don't know if he's going to be... If he becomes an all-star, I think that, that, that would be fantastic. But, I mean, I think he's, he's excellent off the bench. An excellent rim protector. You've been reading it. I, honestly, I would love that. I, I think, you know, and I know... I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure some people who hate the Lakers are like, are gonna hate me for saying this, and I apologize about that. But especially coming off a championship, and I don't think the Lakers have won like six games in a row and stuff like that. So an embarrassment of riches on the team. But after Dwight left, you know, and I, I think there was a little bit of. And I think after Markeith left too, no, Morris is on the team. Mainly Dwight Howard. I think the, the oh, JaVel McGee left. Um, which are two kind of just big dudes. Just, just tall dudes that just take up space. And, you know, they're not dominant, but, you know, they're going to slow down the likes of Embiid and Jokic and, and then let LeBron and AD do their work, right? And they can... They, can, they just have the length and the size to do that. But since those two are gone, that's been sort of the secret, the sort of low-key weakness, quote-unquote, for the Lakers is that, well, what happens when they got to go seven games against Jokic or got to go seven games against the Sixers in the NBA Finals or something like that with a healthy Embiid? You know, are the Lakers, do they have the, the length to kind of, to kind of, at least no one's really going to stop Embiid or Jokic, but... To slow those guys down. So, if they can get a, if they can get a bigger dude like Jared Allen just to just to clog up the paint and get you know even some rotation minutes with Marcus All at worst. You know, I think I think that'd be awesome. If you've been reading that, that EA, yeah, that excites me. I hope that deal gets done. I don't know what assets the Lakers actually have to move because, you know, they've a lot has been moved around to accommodate the likes of Anthony Davis and whatnot. But Marquise Brown to ninety nine, but I would love that if his cards are cheap. It's pretty good too. I mean. What in the basketball hobby? What drives? And we got we got a lot of Panini basketball to do tomorrow too. If you want to, ladies and gentlemen. But what uh what ba what do basketball players need to do to to just really gain the foothold in the hobby in terms of value, right? Big markets help. You know, there's got to be some hype around them. You know, and maybe. Some highlight real plays, right? Maybe a streak of good games. Jared Allen can do that. The way he can he can block shots, the way he can dunk. There's there's been there's Ben Denucci to seventy nine pink velocity. There's been some highlight plays that 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 I've seen Jared Allen make that makes like Sports Center's top tens. So imagine if he's doing that in the L A market. Seventy eight out of ninety nine. 
That could be a good ROI there. All right, there's Dalton Keene for the Patriots, Karen Steele. So if you if you bought a hollow PSA 10 for $80, that's it? I mean, worse that happens, it's, it's going to stay around that price, right? There's Denzel Mims to 199 and our first Jalen Hurts rated rookie card for EA and the Eagles. EA, G-L-E-S, Eagles. Not a hollow, but still nice. So yeah, what's the worst that happens? It it drops to like sixty bucks or goes up to a hundred bucks maybe. You know, a little bit here and there. But I I wonder. That's interesting. If if he does get traded to the Lakers, the nice hollow Antonio Gibson, he's automatically gonna get gonna get playoff minutes, right? As opposed to being in Cleveland. Although Cleveland's playing playing pretty well. Mark Bissett with the Washington football team. Could be very interesting. It's Clavon Chasen for the Jags to 299. That's for Patrick. And Denzel Mims to 199 for the Jets. That'll be for Mark. But yeah, I don't think that's I I think that's uh, that's a low enough risk. EA to kind of go with the Jared Allen and then and hopefully and hope he gets traded to the to the Lakers or another he wasn't a big market team but but I guess the Nets had to do what they had to do but I yeah I would love to see him in LA he goes to Lakers you think it jumps to about 400 yeah I'm not super good with prices so that sounds about right I was gonna say I always, I always under, I always underestimate, under promise, over deliver. I was gonna say like two hundred, but it's sure four hundred. Goes to the Lakers, maybe automatically two, two fifty, three hundred, maybe a little more attention in the playoffs, and then get some. If you get some playoff hype, although I mean I, I don't know why, I don't know why uh. Why the Cavs would want to do the Cavs want to trade him? Because with the Cavs, I mean, maybe they're just looking to get looking to get younger. I guess if I'm the Cavs, I mean, let's let's go to. Yeah, Cavaliers are ten and sixteen, but <laughs> nice one, Travis. It's a good joke. Uh, but the Cavs are a good team. They got Darius Garland. Who hasn't, I think, hasn't reached his full potential yet. Colin Sexton is playing some great basketball. And then, I mean, I guess they got they got Isaac Okoro, Torin Prince, uh, Chetty Osman, Javel McGee. J I feel like I feel like they should just move. I mean, you're you gotta build around Sexton and Garland, right? You gotta move Andre Drummond. Send him to the Lakers. And uh chair. <laughs> Jared, or Jared Allen, or both. Move those guys. There's Jalen Johnson to 179. Move, move, move those guys. And uh, move those guys. Get some assets. Get younger. I mean, they're already pretty young, but get even younger. You know, and then um, you kind of evolve and grow with that with that Sexton team. Oh, 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 Travis just got back into got back from work. I, was, I thought you were watching. I was like, didn't you hear the whole intro. No, but yeah, we are we're in the middle of pick your team four. And we're only two boxes in. This is the second box. J.K. Dobbins. All right. Apparently, they don't like that nickname.
We got Denzel Mim, 57 out of 75. Tiny auto going to the Jets. Mark Bissett. Yeah, I heard the Cavs have to. I don't know what the what do the Lakers have to offer. What do the Lakers have to offer uh, the Cavs though? I don't think they've they don't really have any fun draft picks. I think those have all been moved around or owed to someone else, unless they're unless they're accepting future picks. Wait on the future picks. Coppola with the Bucks. Pink Velocity, Adam Thielen, Mark Bissett. But if they could build around... Let's see, 79. But if they could build around that young backcourt, get some assets. I think they could quickly, especially in a weaker East, could look pretty good pretty quickly. That, that, that cut is kind of bad right there on that Van Jefferson. There's Cooper Cup. 179. Might be some centering issues here on this Van Jefferson. EA, who's who's reporting those rumors? Is it just is it just kind of speculation? There's another kind of bad cut right there from like talk radio hosts just like messing around on the on the uh, on the trade on the trade builder. Goes Gardner Minshew to 299. Or is this like some serious talk from uh, front offices? All right, there's the guy that maybe Jalen Hurts will be throwing the ball to, Jalen Ragor, rated rookie hollow. Oh, so the Cavs are over the cap. So you think? So everyone, every, I think maybe maybe people are putting putting two and two together. They got to pay Sexton. Cavs are over the cap. Lakers need a big man. I feel like Lakers are right up against the cap too, so I guess it would be picks and who would you send the other way is the is the thing. I'm looking at the Lakers roster right now. Oh, it was Rex. Rex just wanted to mess with everybody by throwing Jared Allen rumors out there. Rex has like a in in the know, an ITK Twitter account. With an egg as a profile picture, and he's just like, been hearing Lakers want Jared Allen. <laughs> dot dot dot. Hmm. Emoji. Yeah, I don't know who the I don't know who the players wise the Lakers can move. They're not gonna move Schroeder. They just got him. They like him. They're not gonna move Caruso. I, I mean, would the Cavs want Quinn Cook? They're not. Ooh. Oh, I don't, I don't like this, but I, this makes sense. What if, what if they move Talon Horton Tucker? You think the Cavs want Talon Horton Tucker? Be unfair to Marcus Saul if they just sign him and then send him away. Trez is great. I don't think they're moving Trez. I, I think they like. They just paid Kuzma a couple years. Might keep Kuzma. I think they like what Wes Matthews can do. I hate the idea of Talon Horton Tucker being moved but I mean that's kind of a young exciting up and coming talent who might benefit from from getting like 15 20 minutes a game and then maybe creeping up from there that'd be interesting not that I don't maybe maybe a straight up won't work but maybe it would actually I don't know how the money works though Town Horton Tucker for Jared Allen Town Horton Tucker No, you don't think you don't think THT is going anywhere? Now that what LeBron's co-signed on signed off on Talon Horn Tucker? Yeah, maybe not. There's Jake Luton to 179 and a Justin Herbert rated rookie. And the centerings are a little rough on these cuts here, but a Justin Herbert nonetheless going to the Bolts. Mm -mm, Travis, I've not seen any uh I've not seen any Giants just yet.
Nothing significant anyway. There's Gardner Minshew. We got Jason Kelsey to 199. 005 out of 199 for EA and the Eagles. Dak Prescott to 99. Hmm. Yeah, I might be super wishful thinking for the Lakers to get a big man like that, like Jared Allen. Oh, what's Jared Allen doing right now? He's getting about 25, 30 minutes a game. Averaging about 26 minutes, 11.8 points. Close to nine rebounds, couple assists, couple blocks. And maybe in, 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 uh, in a Frank Vogel kind of defensive scheme. Some better players around him. Maybe he has space to operate. I would love that. That's 6'11". Get a seven-footer out there, that'd be great. And we got 60 out of 99, LaVisca Chanel. Oh, I thought it was going to be autographed. It's flipped around. I think so, too. eBay number in retrospect. Well, he... Well, I don't know if they let him go. I feel like he had... Do you remember he had that tweet that came out saying, hey, it's glad to be back with the Lakers, but then it will, it was quickly deleted. And then he had signed with Charlotte, whoever he signed with. There's Christian Fulton for the Titans, 4 out of 50. That, there's the autograph. So I think it was maybe just a money thing. I, I don't know if the Lakers were able to pay him any more than they were paying him just for because of their own sort of budgetary reasons. I think they were kind of up against the cap too. There's Patrick Davis and the Titans. There's Cam Newton to 179, Denzel Mims. Yeah, there was a hollow DK in there. Cam Newton. But yeah, I kind of wish... That, and, and a lot of like... You know, whenever there's a game, there's Darian to Nevins to 299. And by the time the game's over, I'll, I'll be listening to like the post-game show on the radio as I drive home. And, and a lot of the calls are... There's Raider Rookie Hollow, Jacob Eason, Colts, Mark Bissett. A lot of the calls are like, oh, we should, got, got problems in the paint, giving up too many points in the paint. Sixers, Sean Atterbury, right, Sixers. See, that's great for, that's a great move for the Sixers because, you know, you can give, uh, give Joel Embiid a little bit of rest. But yeah, I wish the Lakers would have kept Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard was excellent for the Lakers last year. I think I think he really kind of bet on himself. I think his whole attitude and his whole demeanor was just totally different from when he from his first stint with the Lakers many years ago. I think I don't I think if as as Dwight's contract was ending in Orlando, if 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 someone told you if someone told you, hey, Dwight Howard is going to be a journeyman center. <laughs> You'd be like, that's ridiculous. I'll bet against that any day of the week. But that's what, he, that's what he's become. And I think, I think in his second stint with the, with, with the Lakers, by then he kind of already felt like that was going to be his legacy. And, it's still, and it is to a certain extent. But I think his, the way he approached the game, I think, definitely changed. And it seems like he's doing well for the Sixers, right? Yeah, Sean's saying great offseason signing by the, by the Sixers. But his attitude just completely changed. You know, I think he was definitely like, you know, just knew what he needed to do as a player. You know, he kind of, he kind of realized, hey, I'm not a starter anymore. Hey, I don't have to be, 
you know, I think a little more maturity, I think, even, even though a little bit later, but, but yeah. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I like the, I like the Montrez Harrell move for our Lakers. Yeah, I, absolutely. But, you know, when I'm thinking playoffs, and I'm thinking who's gonna who's gonna defend Jokic for for seven games if they see the Sixers in the finals, like who's gonna who's gonna take care of Joel Embiid for seven games? I, one game I could see the Lakers Lakers taking care of business in a couple games here and there, but of of, of over the course of over the course of seven games in a seven game series, that's that's gonna be a big question mark for the Lakers. Just Harrell's just energy, which he has oodles of, is just not enough. Just when it just comes to size, he'll be exhausted after the first few games. There's Aaron Donald to 25. Nice. Ooh. I think someone was mentioning that these out of 25s look really sharp, and they weren't lying. That goes to the Rams, Steve, with that one. And yeah. This batch of cards that definitely miscut. Seven, 23 out of 75. Tristan Wirfs for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Capola. True. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think I think Clippers are, are definitely weaker in the playoffs without that off the bench across the seven game series. But I would feel a lot better if 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 there was like. That Jared Allen deal that EA was mentioning, those rumors actually turned into turned into actual discussions and turned into an actual trade. At the very least, Jared Allen's like a seven footer who can at least gobble up some minutes and and at least slow down some big names like uh, like Embiid and Jokic. Yeah, well, this is not even Panini. This is these these are the guys cutting at the factory. It looks like uh, it looks like maybe maybe Friday, five p.m. at the factory. People, you know, people with one eye out the out the door, one eye on the weekend. There's J.J. Watt, Pink Velocity. Maybe not not putting the not carefully putting the cards into the sheets into the machine. There's Tyler Johnson, Buccaneers, Super Bowl champion. Coppola again. Philip Rivers to 199. What are the Colts going to do? Fill that QB spot. Carson Wentz hollow. What's going to happen to Carson Wentz? Antonio Gibson, nice. Antonio Gibson, sky, sky, sky blue. I have not memorized all these colors. Too many colors, but it's nice. At a two ninety nine mark, with Antonio Gibson. There's Jalen Ragor, Patrick Queen, and two more boxes to go here in Picker Team Four. This is the last break of the night, folks. Thank you. If there's anything else that's sold out, unfortunately, we'll have to do it tomorrow. I think I'm a bit, we've gone over a little bit, which is fine, but I think after series one, and this is kind of a longer break too. I think if we didn't do that series one that late at night, I think I might might have had the energy to do a few more, but no. don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow, one o'clock Pacific, four o'clock Eastern. Sean wants, went to the Colts of the Eagles start Jalen. We've, we've got mixed opinions amongst the Eagles fans here, Sean. We got, we got some some couple Eagles fans. I want, I don't know. I think they go back and forth. I think sometimes they're like, well, maybe you got to keep Wentz, so you're not affected cap wise. Maybe Jalen's not ready. Teal maybe says Jimmy on that Antonio Gibson. Can you get more for Jalen Hurts, and you just ride out Wentz's contract and give him some more weapons, or do you anoint Jalen Hurts now? But he doesn't get this maybe the same weapons in a in a Wentz trade. 
there's different ways you can play it. Went to the Colts makes sense because the because the Frank Wright connection, obviously. I don't know if Colts fans, but we had a couple Colts fans here. I'm not, I don't know if they were super thrilled with that idea. <laughs> they got to get someone. Yeah, yeah. You think went to the Colts as well? I'm sure they're. They have to be talking. But isn't that contract kind of brutal? Jimmy would like to see Jacob Eason get 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 some play. Well, I think the Rams screwed everything up now. Well, I think originally they wanted a lot, but then the, after they what they saw with Stafford. What the Rams gave Detroit. Yeah, it's the, the... So, Wentz still has 2021. I guess he has a potential out in 2022. I don't know what the out is. I think maybe a him option, player option, which I don't think that he's going to exercise. Right, so it's 2021, 22, 23, 24. He's got four full seasons left before he's an unrestricted again. All right, behind Miles Sanders is Adam Thielen to 299. Can't fight the Thielen. Going to Mark and the Vikings. There's Colin Johnson to 199. Man, that, that just a bad, bad cutting at the factory. That's rough. Rated rookie Justin Jeffries, pretty good too. Sorry, Mark. I mean, you might just contact Panini. You might get, might be able to get a replacement card just on the visual itself. Yeah, I heard that too, B man. It, it, trouble in paradise in Seattle. Does Russell Wilson finally get frust getting getting frustrated about about years of just poor. Uh, Poor offensive line, and he's got the pass-catching weapons, but I feel like that offensive line, maybe the running game has never really materialized. I don't know. Is, is, is it time for Seattle to look to a major overhaul? Pete Carroll's not getting any younger. There's Jerry Judy, 79 out of 79, pink velocity. You know, maybe, maybe they could they could use a use a bit of a fresh like fresh start, maybe. I don't know. And we got Darian Nevins. 8 out of 25, three color patch and autograph. The RPA. Which I think is one per case. <laughs> Russell to rugs. I was talking about this before. You heard me talking about this before at EA, Eric, that Patrick Davis with the Titans. The offense isn't the problem. It's the defense for the Raiders. That, that offense still went 8-8 eight and eight with that terrible defense. As tempting as it might be, Ruben with the Bengals to move mountains for Russell or Deshaun Watson for that matter, you know. I think... As tough as it might be, I think the Raiders have to really just stick to their guns and try to improve that. Just focus on defense, defense, defense. You know, maybe add some weapons in the draft, but offensive weapons in the draft. But defense, defense, defense. So Michael P. Ryan, Jets, to 125. That'll be for Mark. But hey, I mean... Houston comes knocking, Seattle comes knocking, and there's an offer, a godfather offer, an offer you can't refuse. But I doubt that. Yeah, Jimmy's, I think Jimmy's up there. Yeah, I don't think he's going anywhere. Just just like I think a lot of people were like, whoa, Aaron Rodgers is going to be moved? I, I, think, he, I think Aaron Rodgers is unhappy, but I think he wants to use that to maybe leverage some good, good additions to the team. 
But I can't see a guy like Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers actually demanding a trade or or the, those teams actually trading them. But yeah, when I I think when I heard that, it's like, oh, trouble in paradise in Seattle. It's like, oh, Russell Wilson? Where does he go now? It's fun to talk about. That's for sure. Will I, will I bet on him going, being in a different uniform by week one? Yeah, probably not. They're not going to let him go. And, and yeah, and furthermore, yeah. It's Seattle, I mean, you know, the, they don't have a lot of picks. They got to keep Russell Wilson Wilson along. If they are going to trade him, do they have to package picks with him? I mean, they could get a lot of picks back just for Russell Wilson alone. That's the thing. Do they do they want picks? I think if you're if if you're Seattle, unless he asks for a trade, you gotta. Or unless he just explores free agency. He's got 2021, 20, 22, and 23. I think you just you just let it ride. You just You know, you spend the next three seasons trying to, you know, improve the team around him. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. He walks, 36 year old, unrestricted free agent, and then, you know, he can ply his trade elsewhere and the Ox can just kind of try starting over again, or if maybe trade him in 2023 if if it seems like things aren't going well. But I think for the next two years at least, I think Russell Wilson's pretty pretty set in Seattle. They're not they're, they don't have to move him. They're not going to move him. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that feeling too. EA, the first half was pretty good though. Michael Thomas to 299. Le'Veon Bell to two ninety nine. I see like a gold vinyl in here or something. Like a big rookie gold vinyl would be awesome. Dalvin Cook. Another TB. And all those cards that I'm sleeving, of course, will be top-loaded before they're sorted and shipped out, of course. And we got a Michael Pittman Jr., 9 out of 50. He's pretty solid going to the Blue Horseshoes, Mark. Colin Johnson, 13 out of 35, is your on-card autograph. Jags. Pat. There's Raekwon Davis to 299 for the Dolphins. That'll be for John. There's CJ Henderson. That guy gets moved too, right? But the Stafford deal, I think, made Sam Darnold expensive now. We've got a Carson Wentz. We want the other guy, EA. Carson Wentz to 125. Very miscut Zach Moss. Now we want the other guy, Eric. Come on, there's Carson Wentz to 199, orange for EA and the EAGLES Eagles. And there's a rated rookie Chase Clay. Well, that's not so bad. Steelers, Ryan with Pittsburgh. Jimmy's thinking Shotty. Schottenheimer leaving made Russell Wilson mad is what happened. He wanted to pass first. Pete wants to run. Philosophical differences. Then he gets fired. Yeah. Well, I feel like I feel like get, getting him a credible running game though is important to convince him that that's why we should run first if that's what Pete Carroll wants to do. Here's a quick little recap, in my opinion. Yeah, 
You know? I think they got to give him an offensive line, too. All right, anyway, folks. Hey, listen, we've got all spring, all the rest of the winter, all spring, all summer to rip football, to talk football, and, uh, you know, discuss all the trades, crazy trades that happened leading right up to week one. So stick with us, folks. Join all of our group breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You know, we love talking about this sort of stuff and we just like hashing all this stuff out. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time. No, money. I almost, I, I was like, I was extending that outro because I realized, I was like, I have something I need to do. All right, let's flip back here. Giving away money. EA, you still have a chance at money. So if you bought at least two teams, you get one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth. Top five win 50 bucks each. I knew I had something else to do. Let's sort by column A. So EA, you got the requisite two teams. That's one entry. Garrett, follow directions two. I could pull, I got four, two entries. John Deneen, two, one entry. John Wenzel, two, one entry. Mark Bissett, two, one entry. Or four teams, two entries. Patrick Davis, two teams, one entry. Ryan Kaysen, two teams, one entry. Steve Wong, two teams, one entry. Travis Gill, just one team. Okay, let me just spot check this really quick. So I got Steve, Ryan, Patrick, Davis. Mark with two. Just one team is here. John with one. John D with one. Kevin with three. Okay. All right, so that's just 11 spots. That's... Uh, 11 spots right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a one, top five after seven. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and final time. After seven times, here's your top five right there. Coppola, Patrick Davis, Mark, John, Steve, I don't think I called your names out too often during the break, so we got 50 bucks of break credit going your way as a little consolation prize. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.